<laughs> Hello everyone, Chuckle of Birds here. Yes, but uh, well, not for a regular video review, another live review, possibly the 13th, maybe the 15th, I'm not sure. <laughs> the time is just flying. I keep saying this every week and I can't believe it really. Blinking, it's another week gone and it's just ridiculous. So how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing okay. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, hi Andrew, how are you doing? Family circle. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's a good point now, isn't it? It's a good point now, yes. Yeah, it's a good point, family circle. I mean, I was, to be honest with you, I kind of... It's a funny one, this one. Um, I hope you're doing okay, brother Andrew. I hope you're doing all right. Thanks for coming along, by the way. Good to see you again. <laughs> but it's a funny one, isn't it, the family circle, this? Because I... How to say this politely? They're so mundane, aren't they, really? And they're the ones that you just don't really want at Christmas time, whatever. Whenever you have a family celebration, you kind of want some more ridiculous, exquisite chocolate ones, things like this. Hi, Alan. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay today. Oh, yeah. Thanks for all your comments, by the way, Alan. It's great to see you in the comments as well, right? Lovely to see you. Hope you're doing all right. Um... Yes, what are your opinions on the family? I mean, how do you have them, by the way? Yeah, I mean, do you, is it just one of those that at Christmas they some, someone gets them and you think, oh, you know, and then you aim for all the chocolate ones and then you get all the sort of, I don't know, niece biscuits left over, whatever. Is that how you find it? I mean, that's how I always found it when I was younger, really. Um, but, you know, so I thought, well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's remove all that prejudice, I guess, and let's just have a look at them as they are and at face value, I guess, the gist of it is. Um, yeah, exactly, Andrew. I think you're right, yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I did see. Basically, um, I think I think it was the Jammy Dodgery type one. Uh, it used to have like a smiley face equivalent on it, but they've, they've replaced it now. And I guess that's perhaps a branding thing or something. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they've kind of the they, which made it a bit slightly more exciting. I think you'd say. Um, <laughs> but when I was younger, though, these ones. I think I've mentioned it in the past in some other reviews and things. Um, and I think we're looking online. Some of them. You know, did you know? Um, at least on the picture, at least had it in it. And um, it was, a, it was this was my first experience of a kind of Oreo type biscuit was in this selection. And then back in you know when I was younger, a long time ago in the eighties, <laughs> um, basically it used to have a, an Oreo biscuit in it. It wasn't actually Oreo though, but it was, it, and it didn't have the white cream in it. It was like a chocolate cream. But it was such a nice bit. It's my favourite one of the selection. It was actually really nice, and I'm sure it's family circle. And, and as I say, when I looked online, they did seem to have um, some of them. I don't know why. Maybe it was. I'm not sure if, they, if you ordered it, whether you'd get it with the Oreo biscuit in. I don't know. That's why I didn't go for it, really. But, um, but basically, they did have the Oreo biscuit in, or, or, but it had the, the sort of vanilla cream in and the white cream. Um, but it was such a sort of rich biscuit. That, you know, it was like a dark chocolate biscuit, I guess. It wasn't really dark chocolate, but that's, you know. Um, and that's why I used to always love from these. So, but they don't, they've never really, I've, ne I've never seen it. Other than that online picture, I've never seen them doing it before. Um, so basically those ones and perhaps the chocolate ones I would always aim for, you know, and then I'd be left over with all the sort of niece biscuits, whatever this one is over here. I don't know what that was called now. I'll have to look at it. Just a shortcake, is it? Um, yeah, but you know what? I thought, well, it's been such a long time since I've had them. I always see them. I always discount them. And I thought, you know, it's probably a good one to actually look at. And to be honest with you, this little pack here, now, it's a bit of, um, you know, I do apologise on the actual uh, preview and things. It does say a 620 gram box or something like that. But this one's actually, um, what's this? Well... It's not that bad, 310. <laughs> Where does it say? There it is. 310 grams. It's not that bad. And it was only about £2.50, £3. Um, no, still quite a lot, I guess, when you consider you could probably buy three packs of hobnobs or something um, for that much. But, you know, I thought it was reasonable and I thought it was under £3, I think, is a price where it starts with a two. I think that's probably fair enough. Hi, QP, how are you doing? Good to see you, and AB, of course. How are you doing? Both glad to see you both. <laughs> and you're right, AB, these are the classics. I think, as um, Andrew said, these are the kind of ones your grandma always has in a cupboard. It's, it's kind of true that, you know. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have a great rep, I don't think. But um, well, you know what? I mean, as I say, that's what we're here for. We're going to see if there are, are actually, if it's worth looking into these again with, uh, you know, with sort of fresh eyes, I guess you'd say. Yeah, great to see you, QP. I'm so sorry, QP, if I said in my um, February update I called you QC. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I do apologise so much. I might, I'm not sure if I did or not, but if I did, I'm so sorry. I was just thinking about it this morning. Did I, did I say QC? So I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, the smiley face one, Andrew was just saying, yeah, that, I think you could perhaps still get it online um, with the smiley face, but I think it's probably back stock, if you know what I mean. It seems to have just replaced it back again with the regular, not quite jammy dodger that they have, you know, so, mm, okay, yeah. So I've got a trusty, uh, let's just check it's not too hot, I've got a trusty cup of coffee here. Now I know what you're thinking, it'll probably be cold by the time, uh, thingy, but I've actually got some hot plate thing going on here. So like, you know, at least with a tea candle, a tea tea light underneath it. Uh, <laughs> one of those I've acquired over the years, you know, I've never used it really, but um, at times like this it's good. So I've got one of those so we can actually keep a, 
Ah, okay, thanks, QP. Yeah, I, 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 I just wasn't sure. You know, when you just have a when you think, hang on a sec, did I get that completely wrong in hindsight? So, thank goodness. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you just worry about you've got something wrong like that. But yeah, I'm glad I did. I know I forgot to mention Rick in the. Uh, I think I, I knew there was someone I was forgetting to mention specifically, and um, we'll see if he pops along today. But um, but anyway, glad you could make it back. Good to see you. Um, okay, so yeah, so this one, as you've seen, it's not in a plastic tin. Well, it's, it probably is plastic involved, but it's not in that sort of typical plastic affair. It's a smaller one, still 310 grams though. Um, and I just thought, you know what, for two pounds, I think it's two pounds seventy-five or something like that. I thought it's not a bad, it's not bad. I think it's acceptable. Um, as I say, it's quite a small one. And there were some other versions. I think the Victoria ones there was a small version, which is like McVitie's deluxe. Well, not deluxe, but more chocolatey range, <laughs> which I have got for perhaps the future. So we'll see. Um, yeah. So ten biscuits. There's ten biscuit varieties. Now, uh, granted, a lot of these are. You know, more, what's the word? Not very exciting biscuits. <laughs> but you know, you know what? Sometimes I found that like, we reached tea biscuits. I was, I, you know, this was quite a while ago actually now, but I was, I was just, I had a pack of them, I think, and um, I was investigating them, you know, sampling them, things like this, and they weren't actually too bad. You know, I think it's one of those where they're so soft though, they, they don't survive a, a very long dunk at all in a, in a coffee or a tea. Um, but they weren't actually too bad a taste. I think it's just that they're so mundane and, you know, but when you really sort of step back a bit and have them again and just think about it, they're not too bad generally. Uh, I know one of my friends, uh, one of my old colleagues, used to work, he loves custard creams. I don't know why. So maybe it's just one of those where they just have a bit of a niche following and, and he kind of, everyone always likes at least one of them, don't you? I think that's the gist of it. Um, we did them in the plastic boxes. Yeah, it was in like, a, well, I think, I think these, um, did he not do them in the plastic? I'm sure they still do them in the plastic ones. Um... By which you mean ones like a pop-off lid QP, is that what you mean? I'm sure they still do them, I think. Or well, maybe they don't, I don't know. I must say, I've, uh, I've, I thought I'd seen them in the plastic boxes, but maybe I was missing, you know, maybe I just didn't look at them enough, so maybe they've stopped that. Um, but I assume they still did, but obviously this one is a paper one. Or do you mean specifically this size in plastic? Ah, I think I see what you're saying now, sorry, yes. Yeah, I think that's a good a good point, that really. Because, um, yeah, when we do open these, they will... Um, yeah, they will be susceptible to the air, basically. So you probably have to either empty them out into a biscuit tin or eat them very quickly. And um, Well, you know, <laughs> there's a chance with me it probably would be the eating very quickly part. But <laughs> but so uh, there we go. Yeah, you've got to be careful, really. But with all these biscuits hanging around. Um, yeah, maybe the small size, though. Actually, QP, even the small size, though. I know what you're saying. Maybe if this, this size they did in the plastic ones, it might help. But I'm not sure, actually, how many is in here. So we'll have a look. Um, before it... Now, strangely enough, I don't know... It's intentional or not, but basically it, when you turn it on, you have to sort of flip it to get the actual side, you know, it's uh, it would be upside down otherwise if you just turned it straight round. So I'm not sure what to make of that, but um, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's have a look. So if we can, no, I can't actually see the, uh, I have to put it off to one side. So looking at the nutritional information here now, I know it's off to the right, but that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> so um, got one, two, one, two, three, healthy balance.com just to, to cover their own backs. Got per 100 grams. Uh, 487 calories, 21.8 grams of fat, 11.3 of which are saturates. So there we go. So, so again, you know, if you compare it to the chocolate bars, you know, I'm always saying that the chocolate stuff's between five and 600. So with biscuits, obviously, are slightly less calorific, but obviously still, you know, a good amount. And what's it say there? So an assortment of plain creams, chocolate and jam biscuits. There's only one jam biscuit, really. It's debatable as to whether it's a real jammy dodger, but there we go. Now, does it have palm oil in? Can you see? Yeah, it's got palm oil in, vegetable fats. See, whoop. There we go, palm. There we go. Um, yeah, not suitable for vegans, it seems. We're probably, probably suitable for vegetarians, but I can't see anything specifically saying that, so maybe it isn't. Um, unless you can. Now, hi, Rick. Good to see you. Good to see you, Rick. Glad you could make it. Yeah, I was just saying before, I'm so sorry if I didn't mention you in my February update, by the way. Thank you, people who come to the chat and things. So sorry if... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so sorry about that if I missed you off there. I knew just one I missed, and I think I think I might have missed your name off, so I do apologise, but I'm not sure. I could be misremembering. Um, but yeah, yes, <laughs> Grandma Selection. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, and then AB was saying before that his smiley face one was always his favourite, and Rick, we've just been discussing how they've actually removed it and put back in the regular old jammy dodgy type one rather than that sort of is it BN style one that they did yeah good to see you by the way Rick I hope you're doing okay um but yeah so there we go so this is a plain creams chocolate and jam biscuit so no, a reasonable selection I think you'd say but yeah it's a strange one why do sort of I don't know grannies and people like that get these kind of biscuits I don't quite get it do you but I do wonder if, though, if it's a generational thing so I do wonder about this because when I was younger obviously you'd see like black and white films on the tv your grandma would get biscuits like this is you know 
So when we're that age, is it going to be something else? You know what I mean? Are we going to be watching, I don't know, Jurassic Park on the TV thing? Oh, this is a classic. And then the kids are going to be looking at it thinking it's rubbish. Um, you know, obviously. Just as an example, you might not like that film, but I hope you know what I'm saying. But yeah, and also, will we get like, um, I don't know, let's say some kind of massive chocolate deluxe selection that we think is really good and the kids will be like, oh, it's rubbish. You know, we, it's got too much chocolate in it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, you're right. Perfect with a cup of Rick. And I do have... Um, Nice cup of uh, cup of coffee I've got because um, I've got a lot of cup of tea actually. Now I think about it because I've got a hot plate underneath it to keep it warm. Um, I could have got tea. Normally tea goes too cold too quickly when you're doing this kind of thing. I'd, I'd not. Uh, I'd kind of. I forgot that I'd catered for that by doing the hot plate. So I could have made a cup of tea, which would have been preferable really. But never mind. <laughs> oh thanks, and thanks, Rick. Thanks, thanks for that. I'm glad you did. <laughs> you probably didn't even notice really, but you know I always I always look back on these things. And I always worry that I've got it wrong or whatever. So sorry about like that. Well, good to see you back as well. Glad, uh, glad you and QP have come back. And it's great to see the regulars, of course. AB Andrew. Guess uh, and Alan, of course. And I guess Scotty's perhaps... I know he's out and back and has internet trouble, but um, I'm sure he'll be yeah, either drop in at some point or watch on catch up. <laughs> okay, well, let's have a look then. So I'll give it an open. We've got to 10 biscuits. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right, Rick. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? Okay, so I'll give it an open. I'm sorry I'm doing it slightly off camera. I just didn't want to spill them everywhere. Okay, interesting one. I expected this to have a black tray. But so you can see here, it's actually got a sort of see-through one. And it's got a lot of biscuits there, actually, you know. I was expecting maybe two biscuits of each or something. Um, it probably is of the best ones. Yeah, that is always the case. <laughs> so I'm just getting it out now. So I'm just trying not to, because it's a bit floppy, so I'm just a bit worried about it flopping off to the side. Put it down there for me. Okay, so it's come a bit um, out and about, just sort of organising it slightly. But there we go, it's, not, it's got a nice biscuity smell as you'd expect. There's quite a lot in here actually, you know, for £2.75, whatever it was. That's not too bad. Um, <laughs> I know biscuits are, yeah, I mean, the thing with biscuits is, you know, you can you get a whole pack of them. You can go through so many of them, you know, and uh, yeah. But there we go, you can clearly see we've got more of the sort of more mundane type ones. Um, you know, and less of the sort of chocolatey ones. Um, you could even argue, you might say, well, hang on a second, the Bourbons um, might be a bit better, but you can see we've got only got two Bourbons, hopefully you can anyway, um, but we've got three custard creams, so you know what I mean? So it's <laughs> anything with chocolate in is a premium, and you get two of them. Um, yeah, but I guess, you know, I was expecting, I was expecting worse, actually. I was expecting worse. Biscuits are a totally different food in Canada. Is that like scones in Canada? Is it like in the US? So we have scones or scones, I call them scones, but some people call them scones. And they're kind of like a thing that you put jam and cream on them generally, Rick. Is that what you're thinking? Um, I've still got the um, digestive special editions to do, and I keep I might try and do them later, but maybe this weekend, I think. I've got a few reviews I need to do. Um, yeah, it's just got... That's, well, as I was saying in the... I, think, I don't know if any of you saw, but um, we are sort of discussing in perhaps the, the, uh, the February update maybe to do like a mystery live review of just... I've just picked some things in my backlog. Not necessarily bad things, but just things I haven't got around to reviewing yet. And maybe do three or four reviews in the in the live review of just actual, you know, rather than selection type things, actual things I would have otherwise done, it'd be like a mystery thing. And I could even throw in some complete curveball, you know, like maybe an Easter egg or something in from time to time, you know. Um, biscuits at McDonald's. Yes. Yeah, Joe, so biscuits at McDonald's, you say? So what, do you mean do you mean as in the sort of Rick style biscuits, the scones, scones, or do you mean like a... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I must admit, I've not been. To, I've I do like McDonald's actually. I must say, but I I try to not go anymore. You know, I used to go, yeah, you know, quite frequently. And I'd stop. I think I went ten years without going once, and then uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll get. Uh, let's have a look there. So we should hopefully this should replicate what we've got on here. So we've got the old. Um, so we've got the jam sandwich cream. So it's not quite a. Uh, they're not quite um, a jammy dodger. Those they've kind of took a bit of liberty and put the cream in. They're actually quite similar to the. Uh, um, those BN ones, what whatever, with a smiley face. Chocolate chip cookie, a rich Highland shorty. There we go, crunchy oat, that sounds quite nice, crunchy oat, it's a bit of a hobnob, I guess. Shortcake, custard creams, bourbon creams, nice, or nice. <laughs> I don't know if it's a nice or nice, is it? I assume it's nice, but it might be nice. Milk chocolate digestives, and the uh, milk chocolate finger, there we go, yeah, so, hmm. Quite a good selection there. I don't know if anyone's got any preference, really. What do you reckon? I mean, should we perhaps go through the, uh, leave the chocolate ones till last? Um... Custard creams, yeah. So custard cream seems to be a hidden gem, I think. Or what's the word? Guilty pleasure, maybe you might say. I say I know a friend of mine at work used to love those. Um, you know, yeah. So it's one of those. 
Sarah's Queen's the power line jamming dodge. Okay, yeah, I think you're probably right there, AB. I think you're probably right. <laughs> but nonetheless, actually, they look better than the ones I remember them being. I'll just show you this one. This looks a lot better than the one I used to have when I was younger in, in this uh, in this selection. I'm sure when I was younger, I don't even know if it had anything really in it cream-wise. It might have done a bit, but certainly not that um, thickness of cream. Uh, and it certainly didn't go to the edge. I'm sure you just got the jam in it, really. And I remember it was, and it was really thin. It didn't go to the edge at all. I, I think, anyway, it definitely wasn't as... It definitely didn't look as good as this. This definitely is an improvement over the one I had when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not too bad. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have the, uh, you know, I guess it's it's a kind of hobnob, this one, isn't it? I think you'd say. It's not quite a hobnob, but it's sort of a hobnob. And obviously, it's not a chocolate one, so it's a shame. It's not a chocolate hobnob, but, you know, there we go. But, yeah. You prefer this one to the Jammy Dodge, do you, Alan? I see. Well, maybe I've been to a bit of a surprise with that one then. Okay. So they could be a bit of um, they could be actually better than we think these ones, you know, even though we discount them most of the time, you know. But uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll start off with perhaps the more mundane one, shall we? Unless someone's got any preference, I think. Um, I'm interested about the Jammy Dodgy one. So maybe we'll leave that one till the end, so it'd be a bit more of a surprise, you know. Um, because it does look interesting, and it does look like maybe they've taken it from, um, that sort of, BN style smiley face one, um. The hobnob quite dry. Well, I do prefer... I don't mind the hobnobs, actually, I must say, but this hobnob one doesn't look like a normal hobnob to me. Um, it looks like a sort of hobnob, but not quite, so... Mm, it does look a bit dry. It does look a bit dry. Yeah. I mean, it is one that probably needs to be dunked, I think. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got a typical affair, really, of, as I say, more more mundane ones than, you know, you would have... You'd rather have this more of the digestive... I mean, the chocolate digestive. So I'm sure, you know, this chocolate digestive one... I don't know, you feel like it could have, I don't know, there's room at the bottom, like you can see, if you can see there, this is the digestive bottom, this bit here. So you can see there's actually depth there. They could have included more, you know what I mean? So they've, they've, there's no reason for them not to have included two more there. You can see with the world ones, whatever it is, this, I don't know what they are, this, uh, this one here, it does go down further. So you can see, you know, there's a bit of a... I don't know. There's, there's no reason for it, is there? They could have easily included more. Um, yeah. Do the same order. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, maybe, yeah, maybe we could, actually, yes. I think what I was, what I was thinking was, perhaps leave the uh, Jammy Dodge one till the end, because it was one I was a bit more... Because it sounds like and looks like it might actually be a hidden gem, really. Um, I was thinking maybe just sort of get the more mundane ones out of the way, like the Nice, the Shorty, and perhaps the... Uh, whatever this one is. What's this? Just Shortcake, is it? Yeah, Shortcake one out of the way, maybe. Maybe the um, crunchy oat one. Just kind of get through those, I was thinking. Um, just because then you're left with the chocolatey ones. And maybe you'd think, well, actually, hang on a sec. Um, you know, we've just had all these ones that are typically mundane, but maybe they actually taste a lot better. And the chocolate ones are actually a bit more disappointing. So maybe it's, you've kind of got a bit, of a, a bit of a way to compare them then. So we're comparing the ones we think would be really good compared to the ones we just had, which were sort of slightly um, ones you'd assume would be more mundane. Maybe we can do it that way, really. Yeah. Okay, right, okay. Great stuff, right, so I'll... Put this down a bit here so I can uh, <laughs> drop it everywhere. So I think we'll start. Let's let's go. We'll, we'll go left for, left to right using that sort of like a, that sort of logic or whatever. So we'll try with the first mundane one you'd expect would probably be the Rich Highland Shorty. Now of course it doesn't look too mundane. It's a bit like a whirl. Um, oh, wrong side. <laughs> there we go. So I think the holes there to aid in baking, I assume. Um, it does. You know, yeah. There's no sugar on it. So I can't see anyway. You know, no sort of sugar dusting or anything like that. Um, I'm not too bad. I've got no plasters on my hands this week, by the way. The, the, the weather's definitely getting better. <laughs> it's so such dry skin, it was ridiculous, honestly. Oh, so I do apologise having to wear plasters all the time. I just didn't want you to see all the state of my fingers and things. But but this week I'm a bit better. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, so, hmm. It was quite nice. Let's say, I've got, um, I'll give the old uh, measure one. So we've got ten biscuits, actually. So there's quite a lot of biscuits here. So obviously, you know, I'll just do it roughly, you know. Gone in, yeah, okay. About 5.4 centimetres there. And the, uh, the old height. See? Yeah, about 7.2 millimetres, 0.7 millimetres. There we go. Hmm, not too bad. Unless it's not quite as tall the size as it is everywhere else, but there we go. So, yes. Right, it's okay. Um, well, I think what I'll do is I'll give it a taste normally, and then I think maybe I'll give it a dunk. I don't know really what the order is. What do you reckon? Dunk first and then taste, or taste and dunk? I don't know. Um, I think maybe taste and then dunk it, maybe, because then at least you've got, the, you've got the sort of 
unadulterated taste, I guess, if that's, a, if that's the right term to use, I don't know. Um, okay, yeah. So this is the uh, Rich Highland Shorty. Mm. Okay, let's give it a bit, of a bit of a nibble. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, thanks, QP. Glad you agree on that one. I think that's the right way to do it. Yeah, so there's a bit of a delay, by the way, so I do apologise if sometimes I'm a bit slow getting back to what you're saying. Um, basically, it's about six or seven second delay, and I don't know whether that's two ways, so it's six, then six. You you know, <laughs> me getting your message, then six going backwards, I'm not sure, but yeah. So I do apologise if that's a bit slow. I'll try to keep that, because I should know, you know, I should uh, wait a bit, but there we go. But yeah, I think QP, you're right there. <laughs> Okay, so I've given this a bit of a nibble, and it's not too bad. It's a bit, it is a bit, it's not quite shortbread -y, buttery shortbread, I don't think you'd say. It's definitely not an expensive shortbread, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, it's it's a bit like that. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not it's not very buttery, basically. It's not your sort of buttery shortbread. It's quite crunchy. It's got a bit of a, it's a bit of a crunch to it, you know, but it's not sort of, yeah, as I say, it's not short, short, if that makes sense, I guess. There you go, you can see what it's like there. Okay, that's QP said, we'll give it a bit of a dunk. Well, coffee's keeping quite warm. The hot plate is working for the moment, at least. <laughs> okay, so let's give it a bit of a dunk there. Now, I'm a bit worried about how long to dunk them for, because that's the other problem, isn't it? You don't want them to fall fall apart. Hmm. I'm going to say this, and like most biscuits, dunking them definitely you almost always makes them taste better, I think. Um, hmm. Not too bad there. It makes it a bit um a bit soft as you imagine, but I don't think it really massively brings out any hidden flavour or anything like that. <laughs> I think this one is a bit of a mundane biscuit. It's not really it's not really the same as a sort of one of those worlds we were having the other day, the uh you know, what was it, the Mr. Kipling type world things where they're very sort of soft biscuits. This one is very just a, a pretty typical biscuit. It's not that great. I don't think any shortbread connoisseurs, I think, would be possibly slightly, um, I don't know, yeah, I think they'd look down the nose at this one a bit, really. I don't think it's that great a biscuit. I think, I mean, we could probably say that the, the, the digestive is probably the middle of the ground biscuit, the very average of a biscuit, I think you'd probably say. Could um, maybe include some others. There are some others, like morning coffees and things. But I think a digestive is probably the, the typical average biscuit, I think you'd say. And I think compared to a digestive, I mean, this one isn't as good. So I think we are going to give that one a two out of five, I think. I just don't think it quite, yeah, you know. I haven't, um, I haven't put the small, I've got the smaller camera on here, but I have not really used it because I'm not really cutting them as such. Uh, so you can see I do have it there. <laughs> so I do have it, but I don't know if there's any, uh, yeah, any, um, perhaps any point. Do maybe I could, I don't, know. I don't know. I could do dunk cam, I guess, but then I could bring the bring the coffee on and dunk it here. So I don't know if there's any point really doing it. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and work something out, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that one, I think, a two out of five. Yeah, I think that one was your typical family circle stereotype there. It's not a great biscuit at all. It's there for the numbers. You know, it was okay. I don't think anyone's particularly looking for that one. It's not really a great shortbread biscuit. You know, you get those sort of like thin shortbread biscuits, those long, not thin, but long ones. And, um, you yeah, know, they're quite thick, but they're quite long and thin. Um they're your typical shortbread ones, and I think they're the ones, you know, that, I think they're the ones that you kind of think, well, they're the, they're the average shortbread biscuits, and they're better than that one. That one's not a very decent shortbread, I don't think. So, two out of five for that one, I think, like that. And I've never seen anyone saying they, like, <laughs> they specifically like those biscuits. Um, I don't think ever, you know. Okay, so we've got the crunchy oat one this time. So, this one is your sort of, I guess you'd say a hobnob representation, but it, it doesn't look, like, it's, it's not like a real hobnob, I don't know. It's almost as if they've, Done something else here, I think. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but it wasn't a good shortbread, though, Andrew. You know, it wasn't a good shortbread. I think if it's not, this it doesn't represent shortbread as a whole. There's definitely better shortbreads out there, and I think that one is very, is very much a cheap shortbread. That one, it's definitely a family circle shortbread, if you know what I mean. And I think this one might be a family circle hobnob, but we'll see. We'll see. We could be, we could be surprised. So, okay, let's get the old, uh, get the old, um, was it diameter of this one? Okay, so it's about six centimeters, five point nine. Okay, and then the height. So of course you can see they're never. I mean, I can understand it, but they're never sort of straight at the sides of these. I mean, it would wouldn't look that great if they were straight at the sides. To be honest with you, just um, so thin. Okay, it's about point seven. No, it's about the same as your one. So point seven centimeters tall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's funny on that one, isn't it? It's like um, it's it's a bit like uh, 
boxing ring, isn't it? You know, they call it in the wrestling the squared circle, don't they, for that reason. But yeah, boxing ring, it's not a ring at all, it's a square, isn't it? You know, I guess it probably used to be a ring, but um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I don't know why they call it family. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, they've obviously they've put them all in the circle on the front. I guess they have to do that now. <laughs> okay, let's give this one a go. Um, you like this one, did you? This one? Okay, well, I'm willing to be... Um, okay, let's give it a bite. I'm going to snap it in half, I think, to give it a bite. So, Okay, so we've got half of it here. So let's give it a go. I lean forward a bit just to go over the plate. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Not bad, you know, actually. You might be onto something here, Andrew. I think it definitely is. Um, it is quite hobnobby, actually. And I, quite, I do hobnobs. Are, you know, as you don't know, so obviously we've got a biased thing here. Hobnobs are probably my favourite typical biscuit. You know, they're so nice, especially chocolate ones. And this one, this one isn't bad actually. It does taste. Um, I, I, I don't feel like it is a hobnob. Uh, I feel like it's a hobnob, but not quite. But um, as in, there's something not quite the same about it. But uh, it isn't bad. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's not going to blow your socks off because it is quite um, typical. You know, it's a dry. It's, it's, it's like a digestive basically. There's nothing on it. You know, there's no sugar or chocolate, obviously. Mm. It's got quite a nice oaty, not chewy, but substantial taste to it. There's a bit of substance there as you're biting it. Mm. That's actually not too bad. I reckon. Um, I reckon dunk this one will be uh, pretty good as well. Let's give it a go. I did think of trying to do ones where you could see. You could measure the uh, <laughs> dunkability of biscuits, how long they last before they disintegrated or whatever, but um, it might be quite difficult to do that because obviously, you know, you might need multiple cups. Hmm. That one goes very nice and soft actually when dunked in a hot drink. It just goes soft and then, um, hmm. Whereas the shortbread one stayed quite hard and didn't really change much at all. This one was quite a good, uh, had a good dunkage level. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not bad at all, this one. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right there, Andrew, because I was looking at the back of it before, and it's not got it doesn't say digestive on the back, and I'm sure the normal ones do. They're not quite the same. I don't know what it is. It is weird that surely it costs them more money. Obviously, it doesn't, but um, well, you, you assume not to make the sort of lower versions of these. Why they don't just pack in a hobnob or whatever, um, or a proper you know chocolate digestive? I don't know. It seems a bit odd that really, but they obviously do. But obviously, some of them are the same. Of course, the creams, for instance, seem the same. But this Hobner one, not bad actually, not bad. I don't know if I could struggle to say, struggle, I don't know if I could put it out to say it's a four out of five, but it's definitely, I think it's definitely a bit better than a, a, than the average digestive. So I think I'm going to say three and a half out of five for that one. That's not bad. And it was good when dunked, it went nice and soft as well, so the texture was totally different when dunked and it was still pleasant, you know. Um, hmm, just gave you a different angle on the same biscuit. So I think if it was a chocolate one, then I think you're talking four out of five for sure. Um... You know, but unfortunately it wasn't. <laughs> so there we go, yeah. All right, very nice. Well, there we go. So we had one slight miss and one slight hit there. So, okay. I mean, you know, I mean, it's... I don't think I could really give that four out of five. You know what I mean? I think it's... um, It just needs something else for it. I'd say chocolate or something, but not bad. So now we have the actual shortcake one, apparently. So this is the... Uh, <laughs> I feel like this is basically exactly the same as the other one, um, but just in a different shape. Um, even look, It does look the same. And so we can see here, this is the Highland Shorty, and this is the short Shortcake. Yeah, I'm not convinced there's much, going to be much difference here, so... But you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes, yeah, well, yes. <laughs> i just seen your message now about doing a Shortcake one next, Andrew. But yes, that's that's basically what I'm trying to do, I think, really. Go do the sort of the more mundane-ish ones first, ones you'd expect not much from. And then we'll compare them to how the ones that we actually do expect something from and see actually whether we've really been sort of putting the emphasis in the wrong direction all this time. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah, different. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it might not be, but yeah. I, well, you know, it's it, it's it's not on, is it? Yeah, sorry, Andrew, by the way, I did uh, I did see your message here, but don't worry, you don't need to, um, 3.5 centimetres, this one. But yeah, there's a bit of a delay, basically, between, I've got it on as the shorter delay as possible, um, but it's still about six seconds, or maybe a bit more, and it's a proper six seconds as well, you know, so it's quite slow, really. And I don't know whether my relaying the message back is a bit slow as well, you know, so I'm not sure if there's a, a big time lapse there, so I do apologise for that, but... Um, but yes, <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. Just feel free to keep, you know, to, to say something. And it doesn't matter if I'm a bit behind on it. I'll, uh, 
will uh, still cater for it. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see the height of this one. Okay, so it's about uh, about six centimeters, well, pretty much six centimeters. That one then height. Let's just do, and by the height, I mean that sort of height. And then we'll do the thickness of it. Now, of course, it's thinner in the middle. I don't know. I can't really measure that because it's very difficult, really, with the tools I've got. It probably is a tool you can have, but I think that might be going a bit far. <laughs> so it's not quite flat either at the side, so we'll just about 0.8 centimetres there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right, Andrew. I think you're right. If it's, well, let's face it, if it is a different biscuit, it's going to be very marginal, isn't it? <laughs> it's not going to be a massive amount. I mean, I guess with this one, you know, if you're one of those people, I mean, in some cracker selections, digestives are there. So when people do put, digest, you know, cheese on biscuits and things like that sometimes, uh, I don't you just have them separate. I've always done it. I, you know, I used to have sort of, when I was younger, I used to love pate and things. I'd, have that, I'd, I'd spread that on the digestive. So you could technically be spreading stuff on these, but like chocolate spread and things. But, hmm. So maybe that's a slight difference, but I don't think that would be much harder to spread on either. So I can't really see there being much difference with these. But let's give this a taste. Hmm. Well, let's just try to do one as well at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, there might be a slight difference, but if there is, it's very, it's probably in my mind, you know what I mean? I can't really, yeah, I think these are very similar in them. Hmm. Very, very, um, I've also suddenly got a flashback, actually, of being back at a very young school, you know, when you're like four or five at school, and having these biscuits with like a really watered down cordial. And it's just got that memory back in my head now. I don't know if that was a real, real flashback, you know, real um, memory of just, or I've just made it up. But yeah, and I seem to remember dunking this in the orange drink and getting a real... Not pleasant taste. <laughs> I used to do things like that, dunk, dunk biscuits in coke and stuff like this. You know. Um, <laughs> I think even tried soup once, like a cup of soup. Okay, yeah, so, okay, let's give this a dunk then. I think we're gonna, I think we know where we're going with this one, but we'll give it a dunk. I think it's a bit disappointing you've got two of the same biscuit, basically. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's all right, when we obviously went a bit softer, you know. Um, it's basically the one really quite a dry, not very buttery short, short sort of short bread, short cake biscuit. Um, I don't know if it's short bread or short cake. I always get them confused really, but anyway, short cake it says, so I'll say that. Um, yeah, it's quite mundane. I think this one is your typical family circle one again. It's the same one. It's a shame we've got you know this one and the other one, so it takes up more more bigger proportion of the set than you would like. Um, yeah, so two out of five basically. It's quite uninspired. It's not horrible or anything, but it's below average. It's below the you know the average digestive again, you know, and I think that's the gist of it really. I think that's the that's the baseline is the digestive. I think I think we could easily say that that's a very, um, what's the word, inoffensive biscuit that most people do like. You know, yeah. Well, I haven't had Andrew. It's interesting to say that because I'm trying to, I'm looking into getting things like that. Yeah, and I've got the I've got the McVitie's Victoria equivalent of this one as well to review. Perhaps do that one at some point soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get those ones, like the Foxes ones, things with all the very big, chunky, you know, yeah, chocolate ones as well. So they are they are in the pipeline. Yeah, definitely for sure, definitely. Yeah, but this one, well, I've had two of them. I mean, there are ten biscuits in this one. It's a shame these, it's a bit like the one we had last week, or when was it the week before, with the, um, perhaps the Amazon one, we had the same one in different guises about three times. <laughs> well, they've done that with this one, really. Um, only in two, only in two in instances, I guess, but yeah. yeah. I don't know. Two out of five for that one. Okay, so now we have a sort of a semi-classic, haven't we? The, the Nice Biscuit. Now, I don't, I'm sure the Nice Biscuit should have... Um, Sugar on it. I'm sure it used to have sugar on it anyway. I've not had it in a long time. It's not one I particularly go out to get, as you can imagine. It's <laughs> um, anyway, I have it in these selections now, I think, and that's, I've not had one of these for a long time. Well, I think it's niece or nice. I'm, I don't know whether it's nice or niece, but I, I've always said niece in recent years, so I'm going to say niece, but do feel free to correct me. <laughs> um, mm, I'm sure it used to have sugar, like a, a dusting of sugar on top of these, and it doesn't have that anymore. So that... That can only be a bad thing, I think, in a plain biscuit, to be honest with you. Obviously good health-wise, but I um, don't think you generally have a biscuit for health reasons. Uh, <laughs> at least I don't. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's have a look, yeah. As long as it's nice, yes, so as long as it's nice. <laughs> okay, yes, let's have a look. I think I did call them nice, uh, nice when I was younger, but I, I call them nice ones now. So it's about 
It's about six centimeters in, in height. And you have one here, about three and a half, 3.4, shouldn't say three and a half really. And then this one very thin again, I just have to lower it down so I don't. Uh, about 0.6, so they're all I think about 0.6 I mean in height some of these, so they seem to be quite consistent, I think it's 0 0.6, 0 0.7 centimetres, mm. so they're quite consistent there. Yeah. Let's just try this other one again, I think the, this is the one we just did, so I'm just uh, just seeing how, 0.7, no maybe 0.8, okay that's 0.8, so they are not all the same. <laughs> I, think, I feel like 0.6 and 0.7 came out quite a few times, but maybe not. Okay. Well, I'm sure this one's definitely not the same as it was when I was younger. I'm sure I'd say this used to have um, sugar coating on it, like as in just, you just sort of like a little sugar crystals on it. I'm sure that used to be the case. I mean, obviously, let me know if uh, any of you remember that, but we're talking a few years back now. <laughs> okay, give it a snap. Hmm, let's give it a go. A bit worried this might be very similar to the other ones, but we'll see. Hmm. Again, hmm. Very similar to the other ones, actually. You know, it's almost the same biscuit again, really. You know, it might have a slight more, maybe a vanilla-y taste there, maybe. Um, but I don't think so. I think it's really the same biscuit again. Let's give it a dunk, just to, you know, as the other two, really. There might be a slight difference, but, you know, a bit of a dunkage. Mm. Mm. It seems to have maybe a slight vanilla-y taste to it over the other two. Let's give it as a taste. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and this one does look a bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely something. I know what you mean. It looks a bit more plain than it used to look, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it was quite plain anyway. <laughs> but I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Alan. It does look a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's very similar to the other two. To be honest with you, you might have a slight, a slight more. Hmm. I don't know. There might be a slight vanilla -y taste there, but it's very slight. Hmm. Well, I've noticed I'm getting very quite greasy fingers from these as well. You know, there's no. I don't know. I don't know if you can see my fingers are quite shiny. It might be quite shiny anyway, though. So, <laughs> but um. Hmm. Yeah, not similar to the this one, but anyway. Yeah, I need to just give my fingers a bit of a wipe. Yeah. Um, hmm. Very um yeah very very similar to that one. I, I'm sure it used to have sugar crystals on it. I'm sure it did. Um, coconut more than vanilla. Yeah yeah I think you're right there, Andrew. And I think that might be what's. Hmm. There's definitely no coconut taste there. And I seem to. I think you're right actually. Maybe maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure now. I'm 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 sure it used to have um sugar crystals on top of it. But I don't know whether it was like a dusting of coconut or something. I don't know. Like you said, I don't think it was though. I'm quite sure it's sugar crystals on top. Um, but I could be wrong. I said it's a long time ago. Um. But yeah, I think you're right, Angela. It's really ringing bells. I seem to remember it did it used to be wider as well. It used to be more of a square shape rather than a rectangle shape, or at least more what you would call a square rather than a rectangle. I seem to remember it being like that. Hmm. Not sure. Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, that that coconut there, Angela, you mentioned does ring bells quite distinctly now, and I seem to remember it being quite. Um, yeah. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, yeah. There definitely used to be sugar on it, didn't there? I'm quite sure about that now. Yeah. But I think Andrew's right there. I do distinctly remember it having a coconut taste. Now, again, you know, it's one of those, it's been a long time, could just be triggering other memories and things, but that does ring bells now that Andrew's saying it, and there definitely, there's no coconut taste in this at all. There's no trace of coconut in this one. There definitely used to be more to it, this biscuit. It used to be something else. It wasn't just the same as the other two. It was very distinct, um, or, well, it was more distinct. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go, see Andrew, you see? Yes, Prof Biscuit, that's what I have to call you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's a bit, um, yeah, it's definitely not, it's not the biscuit it used to be. There's no sugar on it. And, uh, and you know, Andrew was mentioned about the coconut side of it. It does ring bells, actually. Um, and there's certainly no coconut on that nice biscuit at all, or nice biscuit. Um, I don't think so. It's not, you know, but despite all that, it's the same as the other two. It's a two out of five, really. Um, I think the fact that it's not the biscuit it was is a shame. And, it, yeah, and maybe I should say that it's a bit less for that reason, but I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm sure if you bought a pack of Nice biscuits, I don't feel they... Well, I'm sure they must not be like that. They must be the proper thing. Unless they've just changed the range all around. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> it, there used to be something more to it. 
you know, yeah, in QPF, and you're right, there definitely was a coconut taste into it. There's, there's nothing like that at all. There's honestly no coconut. There might be, well, there might be some slight vanilla taste, but hmm, I think it might be just be. I'm not sure. If there's anything in there that's remotely coconut-like, it's very, it's very minor. Let's just see on the ingredients if it says <coughs> coconut at all in the ingredients. Um, might just take me a second, just have a look. Obviously, you know, might miss it, but I'm just having a quick peruse. Um, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, I couldn't, I can't see any any coconut listed on the ingredients at all there. Uh, obviously, I might have missed it. I'm not obviously not spending too long because I want to <laughs> just sit here reading it. But um, yeah, you know, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't see anything on there, and I'm quite sure. And it doesn't taste even if there was. There's something that might be slightly different about it, but it could just be it's thinner than the other two, and it's just a bit easier to to snap. But there was definitely sugar on it, and like and like you're saying, there was definitely a coconut hint to that before. I'm quite sure of that now as well. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, it's very plain now, QP. It's a very plain biscuit. Um, but yes, yeah, great minds think alike, Andrew. I was just checking the ingredients. But yeah, there's no um <laughs> But yeah, there's no uh, yeah, there's no uh, coconut I could see anyway. I couldn't see any coconut in there at all, so hmm. Yeah. Yeah, disappointing that one. I think you know you could we could lower that rating for that one really, but I think I won't because I think it might be a bit harsh. Um but it will lower the rating overall of the biscuit selection because obviously you've got three of them that are pretty much the same now. Just have a quick check again, see if I can see coconut, but I really can't see it, you know, so I'll, I'll just gloss over a bit short, slower, uh, faster this time. Um, see things like raspberries and stuff like that, but raspberry flavours or something, but yeah. I can't see any coconut there. Yeah. Okay, next one, next one. So we got, right, so we've done the main sort of plainy ones, I think. Now perhaps, well, well what do you think now? Yeah, let's see. Let's try the chocolate chip, shall we? What about the chocolate chip? I think the custard cream... Arguably, you could say it's quite plain, but um, I feel like the chocolate chip one might be more plainer, more surprisingly plain, really. So we'll try that one. Um, let's have a look. So the nice biscuit, a bit controversial there, a bit controversial. Okay, so we'll do the diameter. It's not a perfect circle, this one, but we'll do a, our diameter. About 5.2 centimetres there, maybe 5.3 if you round up. Try another random diameter as well. 5.3 we add. Yeah. 5.2 again, so 5.3. Okay, now it's obviously a dome as well, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's about 1.1 centimeters there in the center. Okay, all right, so this one hopefully will be quite nice. I feel like, I feel like the chocolate chip ones are some that could be nice and sometimes might not be, so it's a bit of a difficult one. This one, um, natural flavor. You well, you might be right there, Andrew. Yeah, you might be right. Um, I think you need to say it specifically though, don't you? You would have thought, but I don't know, I must admit, I, they, they, they do sorts of all sorts of shenanigans, don't they? But you would have thought they would have to specifically say coconut, um, you know. Now just snap this and it broke into three pieces, but there's definitely quite a lot of chocolate chips in there. Uh, at least on face value there. Quite impressed with that. You know, look at that. Not bad. And then the other one. You know, it's definitely not a small amount of chocolate chips, so I think that's not bad. Okay, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Not bad, not overly chocolatey. Um, I think there's a chocolate taste in there, but it's not massively chocolatey. I think the biscuit's probably not the best. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this one's okay. Um, I think it's a bit. Um, hmm. It's a bit. It's not. Again, it's a bit. You'd think it'd be better than it is. Basically, I think the chocolate chips are a bit. Don't taste too great. Um. Just try giving this a little bit of dunk. Um, yeah, you can't really taste them basically, because they're just a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think when dunked in hot drink is what brings out the flavour of the chocolate chips. It's definitely one that needs to be dunked. That one. Yeah, definitely one that needs to be dunked. Yeah, it's in the basic, too basic for a description. It could be right there, Andrew, but you would have thought if it has, if it has coconut in, it, it would need to state that it has coconut in, wouldn't you? You would have thought so. I mean. Some things maybe they might not, you know, include. Um, but if it's got coconut in, you, know, you would expect it to say coconut. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know, but you would have expected it to, you know, because I mean, it's it's an, it's something that's in it, isn't it? So you would have expected it to say that. Um, and even when it, even when they break apart, sort of things where they say, 
I don't know, um, mixed spice or something like that. It will usually have in it what that is made up of. Um, yeah, so I'd be surprised, you know, and as I, said, I couldn't taste coconut at all in that. I, 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 I just don't think it was there, you know what I mean? I couldn't see it at all, and uh, yeah, I did check twice, but hmm, I just don't think it's there. And I think it would have to, I, I, would have, I would have assumed it'd have to specifically say if there's coconut in it. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they didn't, I really would. Um, but, you know, I'm prepared to be surprised. <laughs> no expert on it. <laughs> um, chips Ahoy, yes. Chips Cookies, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Chips Ahoy. We, we, get the, we have a milk bar here sometimes we get. I don't think it's officially in the UK. Um, but it does, it does say it has Chips Ahoy in it. Um, yeah. Um, I guess the ones we have are possibly Maryland are the biggest ones we have here generally. Or maybe the biggest is the right word. But they're the sort of ones that you, you see about some things. And they're okay. Um, definitely better than these ones. But I think this one... I say did work quite well when I'll just give this there's only two of these in the pack. I'll give you one a bit of a dunk. Um, let's see. It does really bring out the chocolate chip. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's not brilliant, but um it's definitely better when dunked to get the, the sort of dissolve the biscuit but leave the chocolate chips behind a bit and melt them slightly. Hmm. It's okay. I think um I struggle though really to say that it's overly great. I think the biscuit's a bit mundane. I think it kind of pulls back the chocolate chips almost to an extent, you know, so you don't, you, unless you dunk it, you don't really taste them. And even then, you know, it's, you know, you're just left with a bit of chocolate really. And um, it's not a brilliant, it's not a brilliant chocolate chip cookie. I don't really think I can perhaps say it's massively better than a digestive. I mean, it's one of those where perhaps it's more exciting than a digestive. Um, is it exciting enough? I don't think it's quite as good. Um, there's a crunchy oat one, you know, I don't know, it doesn't seem to have just as much about it as those. I think it's, I don't know, I don't really, it's, it's probably unfair on the biscuit to say it's still a 3 out of 5, but I think I'm going to say a 3 out of 5, I don't think I can give it a 3.5 out of 5, it just wasn't good enough, I don't think. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, and you're right, Andrew, you're right, I mean, I, I think you're right there, but as I say, I really couldn't, uh, you know, this is de well. It's definitely yeah. It, there's no sugar coating on it, which they used to have. Um, but you be, you're right though. It, to, it's, you know, because it, it, surely you can't label it as a nice biscuit if it doesn't have coconut in it. <laughs> but I don't know whether they've changed the recipe or I say whether it's just a cheap one or what. You know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But as I say, I had a couple of tastes of it, and I, I couldn't taste any coconut. So a bit of a controversial on that one. Um, if you do have this selection yourself at some point, let me know what you think. But I, as I say, I really couldn't taste it. It's usually quite a distinct taste, coconut. You know, you can, you can, you can almost, you can taste the texture of it as well, not just the taste. Sometimes you get the texture of it. And there is definitely, you know, so if there is any coconut in there, um, I'm definitely going to taste it. And I can't see it on the ingredients list. Um, and I can't believe they wouldn't say it as well, you know. But, um, mm, I don't know. As I say, I could be wrong on all that. But any, if there's any nuts inside any packaging usually that's the one they have to say don't they they have to say there's nuts in i don't know whether coconut really is, is actually a nut nut or whatever i'm assuming it is but i don't know um but usually they have to say that kind of thing as i say so uh, you know when they're going into the detail about you know glucose fructose syrup raspberry sugar jelly agent pectin for the for the for the sort of ingredients for the jam in the in the jammy dodger thing um you know you'd think it would specifically say that it's coconut <laughs> if there was any um but you know, I could have just missed it, but I can't see it. And this is my third time looking through it now, and I still can't see it. Um, yeah. So you know, I won't, I won't look through it again because obviously we don't want to. I don't want to uh, <laughs> spend too much time on it because I know you're probably getting sick of it. But um, yeah, it's quite important, now, I guess. But as I say, I really can't see anything. You know, acidity regulator, sodium citrate, whatever it says. So it's definitely going into detail. Um, but yeah, a third read through, I still couldn't see it. But unless I've got a mental block to coconut, I'm not sure <laughs> it's <is> possible. <laughs> but yeah, but I couldn't taste it and I can't see it. So, was well, if it looks, if it looks like a duck and but looks like a dog and barks like a dog, it probably is a dog. So I guess that's the that's what I have to say for the moment. I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if coconut is a nut actually, Andrew. It might be a fruit. I'm not sure. Really, there's some kind of it's a it's a funny one, isn't it? I think it's uh, I think it is like a fruit. I don't think it's actually a nut. Um, but. The point being, they've got to sort of spell. They've got to spe specify what's in something, haven't they? You know, they can't. They can't gloss over it. But yeah, I think you're right. Like peanut isn't a nut either. It's a pulse, isn't it? Whatever. It's more like a bean or whatever. But yeah. But yeah, there we go. 
Okay, right, so um, we've done the custard cream, I think, next. Custard cream. How about that? We've got three of these in the pack. Um, so this, this does look like a typical custard cream, and it does actually say it, I think. Focus in. <laughs> well, I could just look at it. Okay, yes, custard cream. So it's, I think the R's disappeared on this one somewhere. Custard seam. <laughs> but, uh, okay, yeah. There we go, the other one has it. I don't know where the R's gone on that one, but there we go. Yes, this one has it. <laughs> So this one is um, this one's quite popular one. I've always found them a bit mundane because I think when I was younger, if you didn't have chocolate in, I wasn't interested basically. <laughs> so it was always the bourbons all the time. But I think a lot of people do like this one. Um, I haven't had it for a while. I'm quite optimistic about this one. I think. Let's see, I'll take the top off if we can. Just see what it's. Uh, there we go. So you can see, it's got your sort of typical filling there. It never goes edge to edge, do they? Which is always a shame. Um, yeah, I think you're probably right there, AB. Custard creams are being a bit underrated. Um, yeah, so I think it's one of those, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right there, Andrew. That's, that's what I was saying before. I didn't think it was a nut. Um, yeah, so I think you're right there, Andrew. Yeah. yeah, thanks for checking that up, though. But yeah, there's a few like that, isn't there, that aren't actually nuts, that are described as nuts. There's there's quite a number of them, actually. But peanuts and obviously coconut being the more recognisable ones. But yeah, you're right, AB. Custard cream is very much underrated, I think. I've never really been... I don't think I've ever talked to them, but that's also I don't like them. Um, I just think they're just ones I've never... I always tend to be a bit biased and always go for chocolate ones but um yeah okay so let's give this a bit of a measure then okay yeah, let's have a look right so there we go so about 5.4 5 point sorry yeah, 4.5 <laughs> 4 4.5 centimeters there in height i've just taken the top off here just because it's easier about 3.7 there as well on the other side. And uh, right, we'll get through the thickness of the whole thing. Okay. 1.4 centimetres there. I just moved it there. But <laughs> you saw it then, I'll do it again just to double shot. There we go again. 1.4. Okay, so I'll give it a bit of a taste without it. So yeah, so I think this one is probably a lot of people's favourites, really. Um, hello, Anonymous Anonymous. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> good to see you keeping yourself secrets, but yes, uh, good to see you. <laughs> okay, so let's give this one a bit of a taste. Mm. Mm. Very much has the um, custard taste, for sure. Mm. I think it's perhaps you could say... Maybe too much biscuit. Um, I think it would definitely be better just eating like this, really. And you could just get the, you know, if it was just like that, obviously it wouldn't look the same. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely not bad. And I think where custard creams come into the room is actually when they're dunked as well. So we'll be doing that in a second. But yeah, not bad at all. Very custard taste. Hmm. I think, um, like AB says, a good taste then. Quite an underrated biscuit, really. I mean, it's still one. I'm going to have it too much biscuit for me, but. I think it works perfectly when dunked, actually, so I think I'm um, quite excited about this one. So let's give this a dunk. Mm. Got to dunk it for a bit of time with custard cream. It's quite thick. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, when dunked, it's um, it's very nice. Yeah, I mean, it's perhaps, perhaps better in tea than coffee. I've got a coffee there, but uh, it just it disintegrates the biscuit or softens it to an extent where that problem of having too much biscuit goes away completely, you know, I think, anyway. Um, mm. Yeah, not bad at all. I think the biscuit's quite mundane. Um, hmm. But the cream, the custard centre is actually quite nice. It's um, it's not massively custardy, but it's a nice vanilla, vanilla flavour. You know, and it does it does have a reminiscent taste of custard. It's not bad at all. Hmm. I think it's perhaps um, it's one of those where I think it's it's one of those. I think it's one of those because you've got to. The biscuit, I think when you really think about it, it's not that great on it, but it's the actual inside of it. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether um, there's too much biscuit on it. I don't know, let's have another. Hmm. Hmm. You've had a bad custard cream, yeah. <laughs> no, it's nice. I think, uh, I do like it. I think for me, I prefer them dunked, but um, they're still very nice. I think, hmm. I don't know if I can raise it to, I mean, obviously, I think um, if you're a massive custard cream fan, I think, it's, I think I'd, 
<clears throat> I don't know, maybe you'd give it a 5 out of 5, but I reckon you'd probably give it a 4 out of 5. I think for me, I don't know if I can stretch to a 4 out of 5. I think I do still like it. Um, I think perhaps the it's too much biscuit for me. I think I'd prefer it if it was if it didn't have the top on it. So you could just eat it sort of half, you know, like that. I think you'd just get more of the custard and just the right amount of biscuit then. Hmm. I think when dunked now, it does remove that problem. But, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think, hmm. Whisk cream extended all the way. Yeah, that, that is the problem. I, I do wish to do that on a lot of these things. Where I wish the cream or the filling of anything would always go from edge to edge. And it really it does annoy me the way that it doesn't, really. It's, just, it's, yeah, it's a typical thing. I guess they probably do it to make sure it doesn't go out the sides if they ever get it wrong. Um, you know, where they put it too much to one end or whatever, which sometimes happens, but I don't know. I feel like it's more money, isn't it? I think that's the main reason for it. Uh, I think for me, this one, it's a high three and a half, but I don't think I can quite give it a four. For the cream. I know my bit controversial. I know some of you there are saying it's your favourite biscuit and things. <laughs> um, I mean, it's nice. I just feel like there's just too much biscuit, perhaps, there for me. Um, I think the biscuit's not that great. Uh, you know, I think it's more the, the cream that's the taste. Um, mm, I think maybe a bit too, might be a bit too much of it. Mm. It's nearly perhaps a four, but I think I'll still stick to a, a three and a half, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It could just be me, as I say, you know, I think... I always have veered towards the chocolate ones, you know, so there is that. <laughs> um, but there we go, yeah. I think for me, hmm. I think, yeah, I think a three and a half out of five, I think. I think I don't think I can quite extend to a four. But I think I can see in the comments of Gabe, you were saying, you know, <laughs> it might be, one, might be a four for you. Um, yeah, maybe you as well, Andrew. But I think for me, a three and a half, I think. But, you know, it's a high three and a half for sure. Okay, so let's try, we'll try the Bourbons then, shall we? I think they're the uh, the main rival in the chocolate sector, so... <laughs> Bourbon here, so it's a standard biscuit again. Very similar, but this time obviously a chocolate biscuit. Um, more than vanilla or custardy. So again, we've got the problem where it doesn't quite go to the edge, but we'll give it a... We'll take the top off if we can, let it just come off. Yeah, that's broken a bit. <laughs> okay. It's slightly broken, this. I have to be handle it carefully, but you can see there, that's the... Uh, we're up against and there's the cream on the inside. So it actually has gone relatively to the edge on the width. Not too bad actually. Um, but on the height not quite, but not bad. I think better than the custard cream was. I don't know if that's um, a typical... I don't know if it's a typical thing now. I think it might not be quite like that all the time. Um, okay, so let's give this a bit of a... Okay, so we'll do the height. I guess you can see the way it's bending a bit there because it's broke, but there we go, yeah. <laughs> okay, so 6.1, uh, 6 6.2 centimetres there. Do the width. 2.2. Yeah, <laughs> 2.3 uh, centimetres there. This one here. I don't think these will ever change. I, I can't see them changing. These are too standard a biscuit, really, for them to ever make these any different size, but you never know. Uh, it's about 0.5 centimetres there. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Bourbons really are a bit, you know, well, we'll see, we'll see. But I remember when I was younger, actually, I used to, <laughs> we used to have them in a biscuit tin. My mum and dad used to just, well, my mum probably, put them all into a biscuit tin. Um, and I remember I used to basically just get the Bourbons, snap them in half like this, you take off the top, just <laughs> basically eat the cream and then put them back together and put them back in the tin again. <laughs> That's what I used to do, so, you know, whenever someone else would come to me to take a bob on it, it would just be bob without the cream in it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a good idea, Andrew, yes. Yeah, so I wonder, yeah, I don't know why they've never done that. That'd be quite a good product, wouldn't it? Just do, like, a weird vice versa biscuit. Yeah, that'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, why well, they don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's give it a taste. Oh, yeah, we'll measure the, uh, measure when it's back together. Bit of a rough one, this one. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it accurate, but it's a bit difficult. About 1.4. I think it's more like 1. Point f yeah, about 1.4. It went up from about 1.38. So it's about 1.4. That. Mm. Okay, let's give it a taste. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. I think this one works a bit better than the custard cream in regards to the, the chocolate taste. Because the actual biscuits taste like chocolate, like, a bit like the cream. It has a bit more of, um, I, think, I think it works a bit better when you, you know, otherwise in the custard creams case, I think you just wanted more of the cream rather than the biscuit. I think this one does give you the biscuit taste as well, of course. 
being a chocolate biscuit. Um, I think I've still got the chocolate orange bourbons to review, actually, AB. I've still got them, so maybe I'll do those in one of my mystery mystery reviews. Yeah, <laughs> mystery live reviews. Hmm, I've got them somewhere. Um, I think they probably are, but I think they're probably, they probably... They don't stand out very well at all. So you can get a chocolate orange bourbon, is what AB is saying. Um, uh, yeah, so I've got those to review, so I'm going to have to do them at some point. <laughs> I think other companies do make them as well. I've seen another smaller company do it. Um, well, another company I've not heard of anyway. Okay, so let's try it just like that. Uh, hmm. Again, like the custard cream, I think this one, definitely get more out of it by taking the top off because I think it's uh, you just get to taste the cream a lot better. Hmm. But I would say I think the biscuit in this one is a bit more interesting, there's more to it than the custard cream one. I wouldn't say it's an amazing biscuit, but it's obviously chocolate flavoured, and I think it does stand out, you know. Whereas the, I mean the, the custard cream biscuit just tastes a bit like the other ones, you know. the the shortbread one and the nice biscuit or whatever in this case. Hmm. But it's not a massively amazing taste, you know, but it's not bad. Hmm. Let's try a dunk then. We've only got two of these in the set, so let's give a bit of a dunkage. <laughs> hmm, so we go. Let's see. Hmm. I think again this one will be quite good dunked. Hmm. Not bad. I think that was because it's a custard cream dunk, actually. I think mean, the custard cream is better dunk than the, than the bourbon. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. I think it's, very, it's, it's, it's one of those where it's a good rival to the custard cream, I think. I think if you're more of a chocolatey person, a bit like me, you'd, I think like, a bit like me, I think you'd probably... might prefer it slightly. I think I slightly do, but I think it depends. As I say, I think the custard cream tastes a lot nicer dunked. I think it just really brings out the flavours a bit better than the, than the bourbon for some reason. Um, hmm. So I think, again, I'm probably going to say a three and a half out of five, I think, for it. I think it's not quite a four. I think it's got some some things over it, that, over the custard cream. And I think the custard cream has some things over this one. I think it's mainly around being dunked, really. I think the custard cream is just a lot better a biscuit when dunked. Um, but I think this one, for me, um, just tastes a bit sort of more interesting just normally on its own. Because I think the biscuit has a bit more about it than the custard cream one. Um, but... It's quite similar, I think. It depends what you what you like, I think, is it just it's one of those. But I think for me, yeah, I think they're both a three and a half out of five, I think. Okay, so there we go. Yeah. Mm. It used to be one of my favourite biscuits, I think the ball when I was younger. I think I used to just really enjoy it. I don't know, but I think yeah, I don't know. Not I think I'm I think I think I prefer probably something a bit more a bit more chocolatey now, I think. So we'll see how the next lot do. <laughs> I think we've done all the Oh no, we've still got the well, I said the Monday, the jammy the jammy dodgy one. But maybe we'll leave that till last, I think, because that might be the big surprise. <laughs> Okay, so we'll, perhaps we'll try the uh, milk chocolate finger now, shall we? Only two of these in the set again. Um, okay, let's have a look. The old, uh, so we'll do the height of it. So, not quite... Um, well, I guess Cadbury's do fingers, don't they? It's not quite the same as that, but I guess it's, it might be similar. We'll have a look. There's a Cadbury finger. It's about 7.5 centimetres in height. And the width... About 1.5 centimetres. Oops, 1.2 there, but <laughs> I think 1.5. Still either way. And the height of it, flat on the bottom. Yeah, about a centimetre, 0.96 centimetres. Okay. Let's give it a bit of a snapping half. Let's just have a look. So I think this is going to be quite similar to a Cadbury's finger, because really, it's a bit of a short, bready centre. It does have that sort of baked look around the edge, which a Cadbury's finger does have. Just hope that uh, focuses in. I think it has done. That's that. <laughs> but you get the gist of it. You can see that sort of slightly darker texture around the edge of it. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Interesting one. Yeah, so it looks quite, uh, it doesn't look too bad, let's see. Bit of a chocolatey smell to it. It doesn't quite want to focus. There we go, focused in. So it's going to be quite similar to a bob, um, to a cabbage finger, I think, probably. There's only two of these in the set as well. It just doesn't want to focus in again. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably trying to focus on the face. I'm not sure. Anyway, you got the focus just slightly before. Um, all right, so let's give it a go. Hi, right, Scotty. Glad you could make it. <laughs> Yeah, I said everyone you'd probably turn up later. <clears throat> I did say that to everyone before at the start. Yeah, <laughs> we've got about three more to go, so you're not you've got still a bit left to go, so not too bad. There you go, you can see the focused in now. 
So I think it's going to be like a Cadbury's thing. But hope you're doing all right, Scotty. Yeah, don't be. I was up a bit late today as well. I was knackered this week, so yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's give this one a taste. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad this one actually. I mean the chocolate definitely helps. Um, just the biscuit seems a lot more crunchy. I don't know. Hmm. Just try and get this sort of mundane one again. Hmm. It might be that it's just the same sensor really, but I don't know, there's something about it. I think just the chocolate just gives it that bit of a lift really. It's like if you imagine a, you know, a Cadbury's finger. Without the chocolate on the edge, it's probably quite a button, sort of boring, mundane biscuit really, but with the chocolate it just gives it a bit more of a, it just lifts it up slightly, you know, and it is what's happening here. Hmm. I have to say that layer of chocolate really does lift it up a bit, it really does. Hmm. Let's try giving it a, you could probably use this as a straw as well if you were. <laughs> well, snap it in half and dunk it a bit, actually. Oh, no, no, in fact, no. Um, mm. Well, basically, if you if you took off the edge, the uh, the biscuit would absorb the coffee a bit more, the hot drink. Um, so it's one of those where, where at the moment, if you just dunk it like this, you're just getting the, you're just softening the chocolate. Hmm. Not bad, it's, um, let's say melted the chocolate a bit, so. That's not no bad thing. Let's try it with the other half now, it's gonna soak up into the biscuit. Hmm. I mean that's nice. It's distinctly nicer because of the chocolate covering for sure. It just lifts the biscuit up, even though it's the same biscuit on the inside as the mundane ones. Um yeah. The chocolate really does lift it, and it's a strange one that one really. You see it's a very small layer of chocolate, but it really does lift the biscuit up. It just gives it that extra taste really. Um mm. I'm still not really sure I can give it a massively high rating though, because I think it's, <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's a wonderful chocolate biscuit. I mean, in this set, it's definitely, I think it's definitely the best one so far. Um, so you could be tempted to give it a four out of five, you know, for that reason, really, because it does stand out a lot more. But I think, um, mm, yes, dunkability, yes. <laughs> Glad you're, okay. Glad you're doing okay. Sorry I didn't get back to you in this Discord chat last night, but I went to bed quite early last night, so I thought I needed a lot of sleep. I was just so tired, but um, typically I went to bed early and then woke up early, and then it didn't work out at all, so I still ended up getting up quite late at the same time. So sorry about that. I was trying to <laughs> trying to sort myself out, but it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, so the dunkability rating on this one, <laughs> it's a new, new saying. Um, mm, pretty good. I think this one's a pretty good one. I think it just the chocolate just lifts the biscuit, basically. I think it I think it, it really does stand out more in this set. I don't think I can give it a four out of five though. But I think it is the best one so far. For me it's the best one. I think that chocolate just really did lift it up a bit. Um But I don't know if I could really say it's a four out of five. It's just the fact that relative to the others it feels like it should be, but I think I mean it's still a three and a half out of five, but it's closer to a four than the others have been, I would have said. Okay. Let's try the old chocolate digestive then. So yeah. So we need two more to do, chocolate digestive and the uh the jam, jam sandwich and cream, is it called? So I don't think this is an official one. I mean, like Andrew was saying before, I think it's, um, I don't think it's quite an official chocolate digestive, but I'm not sure actually. Um, I know the digestive say digestive on them, but I seem to think when reviewing a chocolate digestive in the past, I seem to remember them not saying digestive on the back either. So, hmm, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So let's see this, the diameter of this one. It's about 5.8. Okay, and the thickness. So we'll see how thick the chocolate is. It does have a lip on the edge. There you go, it's got that 0.7 centimetres again. So you can see the chocolate does go over the edge like that, but I don't think it's that thick. It's um, a bit of a fake representation of how thick the chocolate is. So if you actually snap it in half, see it's a very thin layer of chocolate on the top, very thin. And if it focuses in, I have to try and cover my face, there we go. A very thin layer of chocolate there, but it could just be enough. Could just be enough. So let's give it a go. Mm. Not bad. It's definitely um, better than a chocolate di uh, a regular digester because of the chocolate, in my view. Obviously, if you don't like chocolate, then <laughs> you know it could probably be the case. But for me, mm, it does lift it up. But it's a very thin layer of chocolate. It's so thin. Um, that it's not really as prominent as the other one that we just had, the other chocolate one, the uh, the chocolate finger. Let's try dunking it. 
just saying, hmm. 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 Then does lift up the biscuit, softens the um, the biscuit, obviously melts the chocolate a bit. Hmm. Not bad, not bad, but I don't think it's quite. I don't know. I don't know if it is the same. I think um, it's hard to say for sure if that's as good as a regular chocolate digestive. I don't. I don't know. Hmm. The chocolate was definitely very thin there. You'd imagine it would be the same. It says milk chocolate digestive on the description of it. Um. But it was such such a thin layer of chocolate, really. It didn't really add that much to it. Um, mm, it was okay. It was just okay, that one. Again, I don't think it's quite good as the milk chocolate finger one. Um, mm, yeah, maybe more, I don't know. Maybe a, a low three and a half, this one, I think. It's just slightly better than average, I think. Um, slightly better than the regular digestive. But I think probably the bourbon and the custard cream might have been a bit better, really. Um, mm, so I don't know. I think it'd be nice if it was a, if it was the OT biscuit covered in chocolate. I think for sure. So I think I probably I probably will say three and a half out of five for that one as well. But it's a very lower one this time. Yeah, very very lower three and a half out of five. But hmm, a bit disappointing that one. I think I think you'd expect better from that. Okay, so on to the very last one now. Um, Sniff looks more special than it did when I was younger. This one, as I say, I don't think. I think the middle was very a lot thinner than this one. You know, quite thick. It looks quite nice. Um, I seem to remember it just having a, a very. Th I don't know. I think it did have a cream middle, but I think it was very, I don't know, not less than that. Hmm. The top there in the jam. So it's not quite a proper jammy dodger. Um, so let's give it a bit of a measure then before we go on. Mm hmm. Let's see. My calipers say minus zero then. I don't, know how, I don't know why it's got a minus sign on it. It's impossible for it to be minus. <laughs> okay, so the height of this one, about 1.5 centimetres, 1.46, 1.5. Okay, let's see the uh, the conference of it. About four point seven centimeters. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. Don't think it's much more. You can see there's a bit of a dint in the bottom. We've got some pattern going on. Yeah. See if we can take the top off it then. See what it, I think it's one of where it's very difficult to take the top off this one. But oh yeah, it's worked okay, sort of. Let's cool apart here. It does bring some of the filling with it. I always used to quite like doing this when I was younger because it's very, you can see there. <laughs> There's quite a lot of jam in the centre there. I'm sure it's a lot better than when I was younger. It used to not be very good, this this biscuit. Um, so you can see there's quite a lot of jam there and obviously a lot of cream. It doesn't go quite to the edge, but it's got a nice pattern to it as well. I mean, this one's not too bad, obviously. I've dissected it now. Um, but it's not too bad at all. Well, there. Uh, so perhaps go see one. You can see it's got also a, this is the other one. It's got a dusting of sugar on it as well. A bit more so in this case, in the, like the jam center. So it's kind of gone off to one side. It's all solid as well. I can't can't move it. Not easily anyway. Hmm. Okay. Let's give it a bit of a taste. Though. So I'll taste this one just like this. Let's see what it's like. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. You definitely can taste the jam. It'd be nice if the jam was more um, throughout the whole biscuit, um, you know, when from the edge to edge sort of thing. I feel like a jammy dodger, but they don't do that, and they never have done for some reason in this selection. I don't know if it's trademarked or something, or copyrighted by, or copyrighted rather, or patented or something by, um, by the actual jammy dodger biscuit. Hmm, the cream's okay. I mean, it's got something a bit more about it than this one. I think, again, it stands out more in the selection, you know. Hmm. We can see the jam is only, only that blob in the centre. So, hmm. Hmm. I'll give this last bit a slight dunk. I don't think this is one that will benefit from being dunked too much, because it's just a bit too, you know, creamy and jammy, you know what I mean? But, hmm. Hmm. I mean, the biscuit's okay on this one. It's very that typical biscuit again. It's been using all the others. I don't think, um, obviously, dunking it sort of softens that a bit, but, hmm. Doesn't really bring out any of the, the insides any better, really. It's okay, this one, actually. I think um, it's very better than I remembered it being. I think it's not too bad. I think it's just a bit... I feel like the cream part is not flavourful enough, really, for me. Um, I'll say, let's try it like this one, just uh, on its 
stuff like that. So I think that's probably where I can get more of the flavor out this way. Hmm. I think removing half the biscuit on these, like the custard cream, the bourbon, and with this one, means you can taste more of the flavor of the actual biscuit, I think. And for me, I think that's definitely what you want. I mean, the flavor of the actual sort of, well, when I say the biscuit, I mean as in the, the filling. Um, because the actual biscuit biscuit sort of stops you experiencing that taste, really, I found. There's too much of it. <laughs> um, mm. It's quite plain, you know. In the bourbon's case, it had a bit more to it than that, but it still wasn't, you know, it still was a relatively plain biscuit. Yeah, so I think this one, it's not, you know, I think I was hoping for more, I think, from it. It, looked, it looks nice, and it, I think, you know, it definitely had some substance to it, but I still think it's probably a three and a half out of five. I've still, I didn't quite get as much of a jam taste as I'd like, and the cream was a bit, didn't have much of a taste to it, and it was too much of a plain biscuit, really, I think, for the whole thing. So, yeah, it's still a three and a half out of five, really. So, hmm. And I think that's kind of roughly it for the whole stuff. I think that's all of the biscuits, isn't it? And I think that kind of describes the whole set, really. It's a bit... It's, it is it is the average set that you've always expected. Really. There's a couple of ones that stand out a bit more than the others. I think the milk chocolate thing was probably my favourite in the lot. I think that just I think the amount of chocolate in the actual centre of the biscuit worked really well there. I think it kind of it just it just it just seemed to work. That was the one biscuit I think where the actual biscuit itself and the chocolate really worked well together. Yeah, that's a biscuit I'm talking about. Um, it just seemed to it just seemed to work, and it seemed to be like it seemed to taste like a biscuit that you would really find. You know, it's just quite nice generally, and I think you'd probably buy it. I mean, I know some I know people like the bourbons and the custard creams, um, you know, so obviously that's another one that perhaps would work, but I don't know. I've, and the day milk, milk chocolate digestives as well, I think, are the ones that people generally do buy. But I don't know, I think the milk, chos the milk chocolate finger seems to just work the best, I think, um, out of them all. And I don't know whether, yeah, I don't know whether these some of these are worse versions than the ice, um Elsewhere, such as the Nice or Nice Biscuit, um, but that one definitely was a bit disappointing, this one. It definitely didn't have the sugar coating or the or any any kind of coconut taste that I could tell, anyway. Um, hmm. But yeah, so, I don't know, I think for me, I think it's a bit of a... It is the average set that you, you, you always think it is. It is the set that really is perhaps not the best one, and it is the kind of one that, you know, yeah, that would be pulled out from somewhere, for your, your grandma would buy it or something, bring it out, and it would just be a bit mundane, you know, and... Yeah, and all the best ones would go, all the all you know the chocolatey ones and things would go quite quickly, and you'd be left with lots of others. You know, there's more mundane ones than other ones. You know, you get like two bourbons or something, and you get four of the short shortcake ones, and then two or three of the or three more of the the Highland shorty ones, and they're both the same really. And this one was quite similar to those as well, if not the same. Um, you know, so there was there's something like that, and it was artificially limited on them as well, so you can see, I say at the bottom here. You can see the bottom of the digestive part there, where there's a massive gap where there's nothing in it. But the uh, other ones went further down, so you did get more of the others that were a bit more mundane, if I can find one. Um, let's see. Well, this one here, they have them all, really, but you can see the ones that were here, which was the uh, the <coughs> Jerry Dodger ones. They went further down, you know, but because they were thicker. Yeah, so it's not like the space, it's not like they could, couldn't give you more. Um, there is the space to give you more of the biscuits, they just artificially stop it, you know. And some of them are on the side, so they go down further. Um, so I think that's a bit of a cheek, really, a bit cheating. Um, not very fair, really. I can't see them costing that much more to make either. But for the whole set, it wasn't quite expensive. It was about £2.75 for this box, so that's not too bad. Um, you know, but you don't get anything that exciting in it, really. Um, it's not an exciting set, it, just, it has no wow factor whatsoever. There's some really mundane biscuits in there not really as good as the average digestive biscuit and there's a few of those as well there's more of them than any of the others um and there's ones that taste exactly the same the nice um the the sort of say rich highland shorty and the shortcake ones all, all tasted the same and the nice one shouldn't taste the same either it should be something quite distinct that but it didn't taste any different than those um yeah so for whatever reason could have been i could have been lucky or something but there's no coconut taste there's no sugar coating on them or dusting of sugar so i think for me as overall the sets i don't know it's what could you say? Um, yeah, a difficult one, really. I feel like it's... What do we think? What do we think? I mean, you know, it's not bad. It's got some good things in it. It's not terrible or anything. Um, I think it's just the fact that it's let down by the fact that there's some very similar ones in there that just are too... There's too many of them, the shortcake and the, the rich hand shorty. 
I think the Nice biscuit's a bit disappointing. You've only got a couple of, as I say, you know, custard creams and bourbons and things. They'd all go quite quickly. Um, I think the chocolate chip cookie was a bit disappointing as well. I mean, I think that with the quantities involved, I think the fact that you would run out of the best ones very quickly and be left with lots of the rubbish ones, and they're not that great either. Um, yeah, I think the taste is just average. I think the set as a whole, I think... I think it's a set as a whole is perhaps... I think the biscuits themselves are quite average. But I think the set as a, as a whole... I think I'm, I'm going to say it's a bit... I think I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I'm going to go with it. Two and a half out of five, I think. Because I'm going to say it's a bit slightly below average. Because I think if you just had a pack of... You know, digestives or whatever. Um, you know, obviously that wouldn't be as preferable as this. But I think this one falls down by the fact that you've just got too many... Sort of mundane biscuits compared to the best ones. Um, and so too many that taste exactly the same. So you've got like um, eight of those shortbread ones, um, the shortcake ones and the rich hand shorties, and then some more, and then about four nieces on top. So you've got 12 of those, um, and they're all very all exactly the same. And you've only got two bourbons, two milk chocolate digestives, two of those fingers. You've got six of them, maybe two of the others. So you've kind of got more of the others, of those boring ones, um, than all the others combined, really, or if not about the same amount. Um, so with that in mind, you know, I think that's why I'm going to get lower it. So I just think it's unfair if you had them. Um, yeah, and, you know, you basically you just run out of all the good ones quite quickly. And I think that's why that's where a set is bad, in my view. I think as an individual look at the biscuits as a whole, but I think as a set experience, I think it'd be very disappointing that just to run out of all the good ones. Um, you know, and then just be left with those mundane ones. And that's what would happen. People would take a couple of the good ones. You know, after three people have visited the set, you would have lost all the others. So, yeah. I think that's the problem for me. So that's why I've gone for a bit lower than average in a two and a half out of five. Because I think as a set, it's just not that great. Um, so there we go. Two and a half out of five. <laughs> yeah, so, oh well, you know, there we go. Something that brings us to the end. We've done all ten biscuits. Um, I think it was a good review that, you know, I quite enjoy. I think it was one that needed to be done, really. Because I think it's one of those you can overlook and think is quite mundane. And I think it was... I think it was quite mundane. <laughs> so, you know, um, but... So maybe we didn't discover anything new, but it was nice to really dissect it and get into it. Um, and I think it was definitely good to see about the, you know, the, the Nice biscuit being a bit a bit of nothing, really. Not even a Nice biscuit, I would say. Um, yeah, a similar set to compare these against. Well, I was going to look for the, um, I was going to perhaps look into the uh, McVitie's Victoria um, biscuit selection, which are more chocolate ones. Um, you know, but I don't know if there's a similar... You know, I don't know if there is actually any other similar sort of biscuit selection as these ones, you know, as in the UK at least. We do have sort of like shortcake selections and things like that, but they're sort of generally just a load of shortcake biscuits that are really just different shapes. I don't think there's any other selection that's quite similar to regular biscuits. I say maybe the Victoria one, but they does have um, more chocolatey ones in there, but I don't think they're, they're not quite typical biscuits. Um, yeah. After a double exciting set in this week, yes. <laughs> Tea Town Selection, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I have to look into that. I can't I remember the name, Alan, but I can't remember the. Um, I can't remember what's in it, maybe. So maybe I'll look into that one. But yeah. Well, the thing is, you can't win them all, can you, with these selections? You know. I think it was a nice one to look into, though, and I was very interested in it. I was interested in this one. Um, I was worried it would end up being quite mundane. Um, what can you do? I don't know. It's one of those, isn't it? Maybe, you know, I've got to take the rough with the smooth, I guess. Got to, got to sort of enjoy the great ones if we don't have the. Uh, you know, you only appreciate the good ones if you don't have the bad ones as well. So, you know, if you have the bad ones as well, rather. So, yeah. So, for the tea time selection, I'm trying to lock my... I'll just have a quick... Um, see if I can find it. I'll just sort of grab my keyboard, see if I can find the tea time selection one. That's all. Let me see my, hear my keyboard typing it. Selection. Typing biscuits as well, because it could come up with anything else. Have a look. Okay, yes, yeah, I have seen these ones. Yes, I knew I'd seen them. Uh, yes, like the blue one, isn't it? Let's have a look. <clears throat> so I'm just having a look online now. Yeah, maybe they're sort of. Ah, they've got the Gary Baldies in, haven't they? And things like this. Yes. Yeah, they would be a sort of comparative one. Um, very similar though, I think. Very similar. You know, do have any chocolate ones in? A bit weird that that might be a bit. Um, a bit too similar, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that would be one to do a versus one, though, maybe. Yeah, I think that would be one, Alan, to do a versus one, perhaps. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Hmm. A funny one. So I might try and do the... I might... I don't know. I might... 
Um, but it might be too similar, that one. I don't know. It would be a good versus one, I think, though. I'd say it does have other favourites, like the Garibaldi and the stuff like that, which I think is an interesting one. Um, that's another one that's kind of underrated as well, I think you'd say. It does have rich teas in there as well. It might have rich teas. Maybe digestive. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely a. It definitely is a sort of tea dunkage selection, that for sure, which is implied by the name. Yeah, so, <laughs> so maybe one to look into as well. I'm just a bit worried it might be just too similar, um, maybe to do back to back. So I might do it in the future, as I say, as a versus one, perhaps. Um, but I might do the Victoria one in the future, more of a chocolatey one. Um, I say looking into perhaps, or just do. I might do some mystery reviews as well, where I do some um, look through my backlog and do a bit of a random set of three or four bars and do a reviews on those as well in the future. So that might want to come in. I've got a couple, couple I've got another Thornton selection as well to my to do as well. And perhaps get another couple of selections. So we'll see. But I would like to start going through the backlog as well. It seems to be quite a popular um you know, it seems to get quite a lot of backing with in the um, in the February update when I mentioned about doing just sort of random um, set of a few reviews of different chocolate things for the live reviews. And I think that would be quite a good way. We help me get through my backlog as well. Um what we've got to do, and I might, I could just, I could re record it as well, then separate them into the individual reviews and publish them separately as well as like little extras at some point. So that might be something to do. So yeah, does that, what do you think, does that sound good to everyone here? I think you've, I think most of you might have mentioned it in the, in the comments for that um, February update as well anyway, but it did sound like it was a good popular choice that, so, hmm. But I would like to do, let's say, work in some different things as well. Um, it's just unfortunate where you do get some instances like this where it's perhaps not the best selection, but I don't know what you can do about that, really. You can't really not, you know, pick, you can't just pick the best things, can you, I don't think. <laughs> but who knows? It's a difficult one. I didn't know this was going to be... I had a worry that it might be a bit mundane because, it, you know, I, I never have good memories of it. But it had been a long time since I had it. I did think it was, there was some merit in going back to it. But it's just a shame that it, it really did turn out to be quite the sort of pretty average grandma selection that, you know, you, you knew it was really or, or thought it was. Yeah, so, yeah, and I'm glad you think so, Alan, glad you think so, yeah, yeah, I, I do that as well, so just mix it up a bit, you know, do some, still do selections from a time, things that, you know, otherwise wouldn't normally do or would take a bit of time to do, but I think just, yeah, perhaps just mixing it up a bit, doing some mystery reviews so you don't quite know what's coming as well, make it a bit more interesting, perhaps just throwing some random things as well sometimes, um, you know, stuff like that, I think, a bit of a difficult one because I'm not sure how to present them, you know, as, as a thumbnail, or I might just call it a mystery review, or a mystery, mystery reviews or something, um, It'd be quite interesting anyway, make it a bit different as well. So let's say because I'm running out of chocolate selections to do for the whole year. I don't think I could keep them going. So this way at least I could, you know, get in most things done. I'm just a bit worried that it might go through my, my backlog too quickly then end up with nothing to review. <laughs> nothing to review. <laughs> but I don't think that'd be the case. Got so much there's so much chocolate out there. Um I don't think that would really be the case, but you know, yeah, but we'll see. I think I could probably only I could probably fit in two or three regular reviews, I think, where I really go into the detail of them. Um I mean that would probably be a good amount of it now, but we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, yeah, that was a good idea, really. So I'm glad you like that idea, Alan. Yeah, I'm not sure who mentioned it, really. I think I don't know if someone mentioned it or not, but I think someone did, actually, but it was a good idea either way. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for that. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, guys. Have you enjoyed that review? Yeah, as I say, Family Circle, I think, in summary, probably is the selection you remember it being not that great. <laughs> but um but nonetheless for two pounds seventy five whatever the value of that for that selection of that amount I think I think if you buy if, if you spend more than that on it, even if you get more, I don't think it's worth it. Um I think spending two pounds seventy odd on this amount of biscuits isn't too bad. Even if they are quite mundane. I think it's not too bad. But I think they just a lot of them are just disappointing. Um and they're not overly so. And there was only even if you really love the custard creams, you only had a couple of them in there. Um you know what I mean? So you're still let down, even if they are your favourite biscuits. And I think for me, I don't know, I, I think even those Nabor ones, ones I do quite like, I think still didn't really lift it, didn't manage to lift the set, and there's, there's too few of them anyway. Um, so, you know, yeah, I don't know. Never mind. And we tried dunking them as well. We did give a bit of a dunkage, we didn't say. <laughs> improved them slightly, but I still, I, I, yeah, I think my, that might be where you're saying, like, Alan, the uh, the tea time selection might come into its own a bit because they are ones specifically designed for dunking a cup of tea. Um, I think most biscuits really could say work well when dunked anyway, but, you know, that might be something that lifts it up a bit, you know, not sure. But um, anyway, there we go. <laughs> this one's two and a half out of five. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching. Lovely to talk to you all again. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'll say I'll do another live review next week. Probably, um, yeah, we'll probably try and up the, up the ante a bit next week by doing something a bit more, um, I don't know, yeah. I don't know, we, we, we can't just have another another sort of slight biscuity one. Let's, we need to do something a bit more um, a bit more exciting, maybe, even if it ends up not being 
you know, it might end up being a bit terrible, but you know, <laughs> it's got to at least look exciting, you know. And <laughs> I mean, the Family Circle one, I was, I was hoping it would, I was hoping it would be better and remembered, really, but you know, it just didn't turn out to be the case. I'm a bit disappointed in that respect, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised, really. But I really thought that there was a chance it might be better and remembered, but um, yeah, it wasn't the case. So I think maybe we'll up the ante next week and hopefully get something that uh, will turn out, will come up trumps rather than um, end up being. <laughs> Yeah, not so excited. But it's been quite difficult with these selections. I've not, I've not been blown away by many of them really. Uh, I have to say, maybe, maybe one or two did. But yeah, they've all not quite, you know, done it for me really. Um, so yeah, we're still awaiting that special one. I think. Um, hopefully we'll find it at some point. But yeah, but well, might do a sort of random selection next time, or maybe some more Easter products, or um, who, who knows? But I'll keep you updated. Let you know midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll post the, uh, I'll post the, the um, the sort of live review of um templates up then so you'll see it <laughs> whatever it will be <laughs> okay thanks for watching guys have a lovely day uh, take care and i'll see you next time <laughs> thanks for watching, guys thanks again for all your support and all your input and um, your lovely comments always great to hear from you it truly is um and i can't thank you enough so thank you so much <laughs> have a great day everyone see you soon bye for now take care <laughs> see ya